You guys, I am so excited. Dodie Clark is a YouTuber and musician who I've been watching for years and years and years. I love her music and her YouTube channel. And I think in 2016, maybe 17, she published a book called Secrets for the Mad and I really wanted to buy it. But due to various reasons, I can't even remember why, I just never did. And it's always been in the back of my mind that A, I wanna read the book and B, I would like to own the book. Skip ahead to not too long ago when I was struggling to find any audiobooks to listen to. I decided to have a quick look if they had Secrets for the Mad. They didn't. And suddenly this light bulb went off in my head to say, what about the library? So I had a quick look because I remember when it first came out, it wasn't in the library, even for the first year after it wasn't in the library. Did a quick look and it was there. It was on loan by someone else, so I had to wait, but I did place my reservation. And here it is. I am so excited. It is so beautiful. I haven't started reading it, but just the cover and then also the inside pages. It's just so beautiful, everything about it. I was gonna wait to keep this to see if it lined up with any of my book challenge things, but I'm just so excited that I'm gonna start reading it. I think I've got three weeks and I'm just so excited. I'll read the blurb now. When I feel like I'm going mad, I write. A lot of my worst fears have come true. Fears that felt so big, I could barely hold them in my head. I was convinced that when they happened, the world would end, but the world didn't end. In fact, it pushed on and demanded to keep spinning through all sorts of mayhem, and I got through it. And because I persisted, I learned lessons about how to be a stronger, kinder, better human. Lessons you can only learn by going through these sorts of things. This is for the people with minds that just don't stop. For those who feel everything a thousand times more than others around them. Here are some words I wrote. I'm just so excited. I'm literally gonna start reading it right now and I'll keep you guys updated. I'm on page 10, it starts on page five and I'm already crying. This is going well. Okay, I'm only on the second chapter so I don't know if this is an ongoing thing, but so far every chapter has had some song lyrics from her at the start of it and I really enjoy that. I've just read this line that I think is so great and so accurate for me at least. I don't share for gossip or for attention. I write, create and share to offload some of the weight from my mind by turning it into something useful and good. Now, I don't know how good my YouTube channel is, but that is how I feel about just being able to offload some of the weight from my mind. Whew, this line just feels like a stab right in the heart. Like I literally could feel like a shock. I suppose when I said I wanted to go home, I think I meant the period of time rather than the place. Oh, Dodi. Okay, so I'm on page 110. I'm loving it so far, but I'm gonna take a quick break to film some stuff. And then if I've got time, I will continue. Otherwise I'll be editing a video. So I'm not sure if I'll come back to it today. I think I'm about halfway, but I am loving it so far. I finished Dodi's book within 24 hours, maybe less. It was an incredibly easy read. I think that's also because it's not very like fancy. It's incredibly young adult. I wouldn't say I've learned anything from it, except there were a couple of nice recipes in there. So I've taken pictures of those. But I think the reason why I haven't learned anything from it is first of all, because I'd already read Carrie's book and it's on a very similar theme. And second of all, a lot of the stuff I just already know for myself. But that being said, I do think there is a lot that people can glean from it, especially slightly younger age levels and also people who are maybe LGBTQI+, because she talks about her bisexuality, a little bit, not a lot. And she talks about dealing with hardships and her mental health. And I just think there is a lot in there that could be really interesting and helpful to a lot of people. I think I was just a little bit too old or just past that point of, I wanna say maturity, I guess, where I feel I've already learned those lessons. I have to say though, I was really confused about the age group it's meant for because I think there's a certain age where you're definitely too young and then you're a certain age like me where it's already too old. But I don't know, I do think it was a really good book and I do recommend it. I think I gave it four stars on Goodreads but that's also because I wanna support Dodie. I think realistically I would give it three and a half. But again, if I'd read it a few years ago, like maybe four or five years ago, I think it would have been much more suitable to me. Anyway, that's it. Go check out the book. And especially if you like Dodie, it's also just a bit interesting to find out more about her life. And that's the part I think I really enjoyed more than anything else was just sort of seeing a bit of the behind the scenes. Okay, bye.